Hi everyone, my name's Rich and I'll be taking you through the Scout for Dog Walkers and Pet Sitters mobile app. To get started, we'll open the app and we'll log in. The first screen you're going to see is the schedule screen. If you open the menu using the hamburger in the top left corner, you'll see your schedule, your profile, your settings, where you can choose to save photos to your phone's gallery when taken through the app or sync your Scout calendar to Google Calendar or iCal. You'll also see a link for support, which takes you to our written documentation. Or if you need additional assistance, you can always email by clicking the link below. Let's go back into the schedule and we'll choose the walk for Peter. You can see here, there's a picture of Peter and if you tap on it, you'll be able to see Peter's entire pet profile. You can see underneath his name a few of the services that will be required during this appointment. You'll see his address, and if you click on it, it'll take you to your uh, phone's map service. On the left here, we see that there's a lockbox code for entering the home. If you tap on that, it will take you to a screen with the lockbox code, the home entry instructions, and contact information for the pet owner. You can see next to that that we also have an alarm in the home. If you tap on that, you'll see the alarm code along with any instructions to arm and disarm the alarm. Further down, you can see more details about the appointment. In the pink purple color is a note that was left by the customer for this specific appointment. If an administrator leaves a note, it will be shown in the same color just below the customer note. And we have the home entry instructions again below. To get started, we're going to tap this button and hold it until it fills up with green. We're going to get a warning that there's an alarm for this residence. Once we've disarmed the alarm, we're going to hit the alarm disarm button. And that'll take us to our photo check-in. To start the appointment, click on the camera button. Take a photo. Tap use photo and the appointment has started. You'll see a timer at the top of the appointment. When there's 10 minutes left, you'll get a push notification alerting you that the appointment is about to end. You'll receive an additional push notification at the end of the appointment. If an appointment is added to your schedule within 24 hours or canceled within 24 hours, you will also receive a push notification letting you know that there was an update to your schedule. You have the option to take additional photos using the app's camera or uploading them from your photo gallery if you take them from your native camera. If you need to see instructions, you can always tap on the picture of the pet. If you want to see instructions specific to food or medication, you could tap the little information button right next to those options and it'll take you to those notes without having to scroll through everything in the pet profile. At the end of the appointment, we're going to check off everything that we did and leave a note for the pet parent. We'll add any additional photos that we want to attach to the report card. And then we'll hold this button to end the appointment. You'll get a review of your map. If you scroll down, you can also leave a note for an administrator or manager if there's something about the appointment that you want them to know. Those notes are sent via email to the administrative email address. You can see now that the appointment has been completed. If we open the next appointment, you'll see that there are two pets. In this instance, we have a key code number 55, meaning that you'll need to grab that key from a central location to bring with you to the appointment. And we also have another alarm. 
If we hold this to check in, we'll see the alarm. We'll disable that. Check into the appointment with a photo. And you'll see now that the report card has a space for each pet independently. If I end the appointment without checking off the required services, I'll get a warning letting me know that I forgot to check something off. You can bypass this and end the appointment anyway, or go back and check off all the required services. Again, we'll see a summary of our map, and we can send a note to a team manager. That's everything you need to know to get started with the Scout for Dog Walkers and Pet Sitters mobile app. If you have any questions, feel free to use the link in the menu or reach out via live chat at scoutforpets.com.